Who needs coffee when you have race cars? <laughs> Sorry, hotel guests. <laughs> We have a meeting to get to. And then I I keep thinking about that 458. Oh shit, it's not reading my, my transmission temperature. Let me kill this, because I just got a service transmission warning. So service transmission, and I'm not getting a transmission temp. So sometimes when the voltage on my Corvette drops really low, I'll get a service rear axle, but I've never seen a service transmission code before. Maybe I should sell this thing. I see smoke, I'll pull over, let's go. Oh, it won't go in gear. There's just nothing. Holy shit. Try manual mode? Oh, I've tried. Service transmission. We're stuck here. Yo, Michael, Chris, you guys still wanna buy this car for me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I know I've needed clutches. I didn't think this would happen. I can't even turn my car off. Really? It's stuck in neutral, and if, when it's stuck in neutral, the car cannot physically turn off. Well, good thing it's the hottest day of the year, <laughs> and I'm in an all-black t-shirt and long <laughs> sleeves on. Well, I'm gonna try disconnecting the battery and reconnecting it and see if that does anything, but... Well, it'll turn the car off. Hopefully. My car won't go into gear. Really? Yeah, I'm stuck. Look at this. It says service transmission. Are you actually... There's properly? no gear. And it won't read temps. Stuck? You're properly fucked. Yeah. Okay, I'll send somebody to come get you right now. Thanks for your location. Okay, thank you. I can also do, Uber... Do you want to tow the car? I'm going to have to. I'm going to try and plug yeah, in the I'm battery gonna... and see if it'll shut off, but the car won't even turn off for me to try to reset the code because it's stuck in neutral. Yay, it new cars. No. I think the clutches are that bad that it tried to go in first and then just said, not today. <laughs> Let's connect the battery and see what happens. All right. I'll... I have like a tow truck that I can get it towed back up to your shop. Okay. Well, let me try disconnecting this and then I'll call you back. Sorry, right, let me know what happens. Okay. If you need to get picked up, let me know. Okay, thank you. Bye. If I unplug the battery right now, there is a chance that the car won't start afterwards. These cars are too smart. Should have sold it yesterday. <laughs> I know, right? I'm scared to unplug the battery because I'm scared that the car might not start afterwards. And we need the car to be in neutral in order to get it on a tow truck. Are you sure? I'm gonna push it. Really? Let me take the handbrake off. It's not rolling. Wait, 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 I can't. Parking brake won't turn off. Hello. Oh. Hey, wanna hear a cool story? Sure. My car won't go into gear. What? It said service transmission wouldn't go into gear and won't read a temperature. What the f It was slipping pretty bad just cruising at normal speeds. I think the clutches are done. Uh, clear coats. You got the laptop, right? Yeah, that's smart. You know, you're a smart man. I don't know about that. <laughs> I had a cup of coffee, that might have helped. <laughs> but the thing is, I can't even turn the car off because it's stuck in neutral. What the f***? Yeah. I know the beeping is really annoying, but I'm not shutting this door in this heat. <laughs> I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped.com, the premium brand for men's grooming hygiene products. If you're thinking of skipping ahead, you probably need their product the most. So listen up. Designed in San Diego, California, Manscaped and their Perfect Package Kit are the all-in-one grooming tools and formulations for the modern man. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof trimmer with their advanced ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts. Let me show you. It's cordless, waterproof, and you can get up to 90 minutes of use on a full charge. The Perfect Package includes the Lawnmower 4.0 the anti-chafing ball deodorant called the Crop Preserver, their ball spray toner called Crop Reviver, disposable raising mats also called Magic Mats, and for a limited time, you get all their stuff plus two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag 
and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. At the end of the day, help support the people who help support this channel. To get this awesome kit and more, go to manscaped.com and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code AMELIA. That's manscaped.com with promo code E-M-E-L-I-A for 20% off and free international shipping. Thank you, Manscaped. Now, let's get back to the video. I'm gonna throw a job at Jim. There is nothing in here about maintenance mode, service mode, tow mode, nothing. You can't put the car in neutral. You can't get the e-brake to turn off. They don't talk about in any way for a tow truck driver how to move this car other than where to strap to. Lost communication with TCM. Ooh. So that could have been a voltage issue. Let me clear them and see what happens. But I can't turn off the car, so. It won't delete, it's still going. I think we gotta unplug the battery and try to reset the car. I can't get to it. Oh! It worked! I mean? think, I got it. I, at least I'm reading temperature now. Conditions not correct for shift. Park? Check engine light through again. And I lost the temperature. Oh, it's going in and out. Come on, please. Lost temperature. Back on. Back on. Is the TCM like loose? Parking brake release. Put it neutral. It won't go. Well, at least you can get the parking brake off. Why is connection cutting in and out? Every time I clear the code, I get the transmission temp back, but it's not going into gear. Every time I try to put it in gear, I lose the temp and it says conditions aren't correct. Man, I miss manual cars right now. What? can't pop the hatch. It won't pop the hatch? You're kidding. Dead serious. Why? Because uh, the car's not in park. That is shit. Oh. Bullshit. Try it again. I'm gonna smash this window right now. So all our shit's locked in this car. This is like McLaren. It's like eating your food. Dude, I feel like I'm driving Joy's 720 right now. Cars are too smart for their own good. Just give me a stick, let me shove this thing in gear and tell it what I want it to do. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the fuses. It's behind this panel, and if there's not a fuse popped, then I'm gonna have to call it to a truck. I tried Googling it online. I think I found that 17 was for the TCM and 17 is this 10. The fuse is fine, which means she's gonna have to be towed. You can even say the same fuse for the TCM also controls the dash. All right, I guess let's tow her and let's get out of here. I missed my meeting, so <laughs> such is life. We got dash back in. It's in park. The car's in park. It shows park. It shows park. I'm gonna turn off the car, I'm gonna go grab Sean from the AC room. Maybe head straight to West Coast, because at least the car will be safer there. Assuming I can get it and drive. All right, all right, all right, all right. Weird, whenever I turn the car off, I get a blue screen. Put everything you care about on your lap, because this might not open again. But I shut off the car, and it still thinks it's in reverse. Wait, you mean in park? No, the reverse camera's on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this. If we can limp it to West Coast, that would be awesome, but I don't know if it'll go in gear. It's in park. Okay. I'm not gonna put it in track mode. I'm not gonna no. do manual. I'm just gonna put it in auto. Take off the parking brake. Hey! Sweet mother of God. Resetting the TCM worked. All right, I'm bathing this to Hunter. I'm parking it. And it's for sale. And I'm trading it in for a 458. <laughs> I'm still scared to drive it. It could it could lock out on us at any time. Hey, you're good. It's in drive. Just don't put it in park. I hope it shifts. We don't even know if it'll go in second gear yet. Oh, that's a good point. These are these are some facts. Oh god, I'm, I'm getting buried in fair parts. It went in second. It went to second. It's course. driving fine. It went to third. That fuse might have come loose, maybe? No, no way. That thing was in there really tight. I asked this random person walking in the hotel, he looked like he would have a set of pliers. And he did. And bless your heart, man, if you're watching this video, you just saved my life in 100 degree weather. Wait, how? Just because the car the started. I called 
complete street performance to take a photo of their fuse panel to send to me because I didn't have my fuse panel. I then looked to see which one was fuse 17. I thought I found it on the internet and I just wanted to be sure before I started pulling stuff and pulled it out. It looked fine, plugged it in and it went to drive. At least you're here now. So like I said, when I first got in the car and I saw the service the rear axle code, I thought that could have been a voltage issue. I'm just gonna chalk it up to a fluke. I'm gonna say that it was a voltage issue. It freaked it out and resetting the TCM worked. This is technical, the car's fine guys. I'm actually really impressed that I literally walked away for 20 minutes for a phone call and you figured out how to reset the TCM without getting to the battery. Gangster. <laughs> but I still have a lot of work to do today and I see a beautiful red 458 over there so I'm gonna see if Hunter will let me. I was just given the keys to the 2010 458 and I'm going to drive her. I'm gonna be driving her to my meetings I have today. I'm running a little late, but let's get inside of this 458. Here we got the ray seats, a little bit of Alcantara, beautiful red stitching, carbon fiber wheel. Perfect place for my purse. I always look for that. All right, cold start for the boys. Oh, it's out of gas. Cold start for the boys. Let's go. It really does sound good. Sounds so good. The definition of a purr. Now let's hear what she sounds like when she screams. But we are here at my fulfillment center. This is where all of my merchandising is printed, processed, etc. And don't hate me, I have some news to share with you guys, but I'm also really excited about it. Hello! Oh ho! That's sick. You guys can't see it yet, but I'm so excited to share this with you. So this has not been an easy decision for me to make by any means. And I don't even know where to begin to explain to you guys that I'm not going to no longer be producing with love apparel, but I'm going to be putting a pause on it in the time being. I am all about donating to a great cause and I wanna bring awareness to mental health and I will continue to talk about it. So that's not going anywhere. But I am also really excited to share with you guys that I'm going to be starting another apparel line and it's called Hartford Limited. And the first design that I just looked at, it is so sick and I'm so genuinely excited to share that with you. I feel like with this new line, I'm going to be able to do more fun things that are more associated with my personal name and brand. So I introduced to you Hartford Limited and I really look forward to showing you guys the first design. With all that said, while we're here, we found an extra box of With Love stuff. So as of right now, as you're watching this, the whole withlovesupply.com website is updated with a bunch of apparel. So in case you guys have missed it on the last drops, I feel like I'm constantly hearing how you weren't able to make it in time. It's live. Let me show you what we have. Everything has been pulled out. It is folded. It is on the shelf. This is what we have, you guys. We ordered a little extra on the pre-sale so that we had some extra inventory. We also found a box with some of the OG with love designs that, truthfully, you guys will never have another opportunity to buy them. So it is all here. It is on the website, withlovesupply.com. Grab some wall supplies, Lass. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. See you guys Bye. later. We are pulling up right now. To Sheepy Race's new headquarters. I have not been here yet. I've seen the 
low. It's right there. This place is massive. Man, I'm so proud of of Alex for being able to grow to such a large facility from starting in like modding Hondas and making headers and exhausts for them to doing twin turbo Lamborghinis and having this absolutely insane facility. Huge congrats, Alex, if you're watching this. I'm so proud and happy for you. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. holy shit. Hard work, dedication. Hey, we all know. amen to that. So yeah, this is the showroom. It's not done yet. We're gonna polish the concrete and do like those, what are they, the honeycomb lights? Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the whole thing. And then you have like lobby hangout, kids daycare, all the offices. How many square foot is this place? 38,000. Holy hell. And these are do you feel like it's too big? No, it's, it's just a good size. Essentially when, you know, when, when it was empty, it's like, what am I gonna do with all this? But I mean, look at it. It kind of looks full-ish, but yeah. not, right? And yeah. it's just not overly cluttered. You can work comfortably. Mm -hmm. So these lifts are the service lifts, and we have shipping department for all the brand, all the merch. Yeah. And then both the dynos, and then seven service lifts. I mean, like build lifts, and then two fab lifts. Um, so this is nuts. Yeah. Holy hell. So every car on the lift is getting like a big build. That's just, once they go on the lift, they don't come off until you're done. Please tell me you've done donuts in here. No, I want my floors nice. So do them before you polish them, basically. Well, I'm not going to polish this side. I can't afford that. Dangerous, bro. You can store so many more cars here. Oh, yeah. Well, when we first moved in, it was full, and I was like super stressed out to get builds out. And then like two weeks ago, I was like, dude, it's kind of getting small over there. Mm -hmm. So it's like quickly stack them back up, bring builds in, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it, it is and it's not. As long as you have a good rotation. We have a really, really good rotation of how things are going now after spending two months of hell of getting set up. It yeah. was, sure. honestly, I'll never do it again. Moving and set well, up. Well, hopefully you'll never have to do it again. Hopefully not. I mean, I moved, I moved in a, my little shop compared to this Listen, and I I already feel like I need more room don't do it take my advice don't do I it I don't know where to put cars well then don't build that many or keep some <laughs> at home <laughs> this is cool and I'm blessed and I'm thankful but there's pros and cons and the cons are so high that I had the, the most fun when I was like 5,000 square feet all right, so you guys saw the showroom real quick. This is going to be kind of a retail area setup. You got Alex's office. They're doing rental exotics now, so this is that office. This is the podcast room. Talk is sheep. Oh, look at this. Super Street. All your publications. Honda tuning. Remember them roots. Never forget. Brand department, so this is like Alfredo's. Dude, this is nuts. Area, and then this is one of our media guys, so all the stuff How's that we're going? working on. And this is the coolest <laughs> room of us. This is for my kiddos. Mini squad. You were telling me you wanted to do like yeah. a daycare here for your kids, yeah, and you did it. Daycare. So this is their hangout spot. When they come, they got all their books, their toys, their own fridge, their own snacks, their own everything. Dude, major dad points. He says this for his kids, so this is where he works. <laughs> so he Low key, out. when I'm tired, like if I go out during the week, yeah. and Hungover. Yeah. I'll sneak in here and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> their mom legit bought that couch because it folds up because she knows I like to take naps. <laughs> but it, this is their room. I love that. Damn, man. Do you ever just stand out here and yell at people to get back to work? Nah, I'm always back there working with them. <laughs> Why would you buy a Ferrari? I didn't buy it. All right, cool. Lower. Every every time I see him, I pull up in a 458. You do? Yeah. <laughs> cool. I can't twin turbo 458, huh? You can, they've done it. It's just the crankcase ventilation system on them was horrible. I did one once, yeah. my own. I had a 458 four years ago. How much boost did you put through it? Four pounds. <laughs> it was the coolest sounding thing in the world though. Cause you know, they sound phenomenal, right? Yeah. Then you add turbos on top. Well, at that point you might as well just get a 48, right? Yeah, yeah. The 48 turbos aren't big enough where they whine at idle really loud, you know? Yeah. You have to like it. it I'm not saying I won't twin turbo it, but. You'll figure it out. You could do it. I don't know if I, I genuinely, I laughed because I said I wasn't going to mod the C8 when I got it. Oh, look at it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alex is giving me a lesson of what a fried DCT clutch is going to look like. So when they warm, yeah. they'll look like this. That's pretty. See that? When you oh, catch it with your fun. nails. Yeah. yeah. When you catch it with your nails, That's it, it's, it's for sure warped. The thing is, you won't be able to see the warp with your eye. So I have a, a legit, a flat table. And then you could, you know, you could put like a half thou, thou feeler gauge and you're no good. Even though it's a DCT. So this is a full assembled clutch assembly, right? Yeah. It still moves, right? You have clutch A and B. With yeah, the with, larger and the smaller. Correct. Even with fluid and it fills the system up, if it's warped at all, it'll have low and high spots causing it to drag. So it's not good. This definitely looks torched. Beat the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, beat up. This I could look at and be like, yeah, yeah. that's done for. So this was with this. Right. And They I stack mean, in between each one, right? Correct. So you have a steel friction, steel friction. Yeah. 
So when anybody talks about clutch count, they're always going to refer to the friction. So this is right. six, six friction, it'll be seven steals, right? We run as much as 10 now on okay. our race cars. We run eight to nines on the street cars. So, but this is just a damage clutch for me. And when you say like 10, that's five on one gear, on no. odds and five on even, or 10 each? 10 each, check out this okay. cool Wait, clutch. Wait, 10 small, 10 large? Correct. Oh. With 11 steals. That's a lot. It is a lot, yeah. So this, this, Again, remember what the DCT is all about: air gap and clearance. Right? right. The more the more that you insert, the less of a clearance right. you have. Right. So then they stick. This is a you see in here. It's a wave spring. Yep. Mm -hmm. In between each. So when I drop this in and put the piston and C clip on, I break this up. The expand. Right. So offload, they'll disengage, mm -hmm. not allowing it to drag. So this mm -hmm. is theoretically good for like 2,400 horsepower. Cool. So the C8, there's six small and five large on stock. Okay. okay. That sounds about right. Yeah. Right? Because they, they base them for naturally aspirated. Well, it's an eight speed in the top gear, I'm guessing, is probably like almost like an overdrive, so that would make some sense too. Yeah. yeah. And then we I go I do eight and nines on street cars. And then race cars are gonna we do this stuff, so that's sick. With a billet basket. Yep, we run billet billet inner cages and then on the race cars we run a, what's referred to as a Pro Max. So that's the clutch cover. You know when you slide your clutch out? Yeah. Um that's all billet. So that's like full blown race car stuff. Well, hopefully that'll be next for Phoenix. <laughs> A quick little tour while we were in town. I had to see the new Shibi facility. Again, congratulations, Alex. It is time to get out of here. I have a dinner I have to get to. I have to drop off the 458. I really don't want to and hope the C8 can make it. Yes, I'm gonna drive her home. I've decided not to tow her. But again, you know, Hunter did just try to FaceTime me and I didn't answer it. So I can only assume that wasn't a good FaceTime call. So we'll see when we can get over to West Coast. This looks good. That GT500 looks cooler. I'm just kidding. There's no <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't do a Mustang build. Just gonna leave it at that. I would say this is a weapon, that's a hammer. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I know. I told you guys I was going to buy a supercar and I was between a 582 or a 4058. And then I ended up buying a Lamborghini Super Trofeo as my practice car, so not even as a daily. And I've been seeing a lot of comments that you guys love the build, but you wish I would have bought something that I could also drive on the streets. Now, with the Lamborghini Super Trofeo, I do have an important update video coming soon. I told you guys yesterday, the car I really wanted to buy was a 458. And I'm beating myself up because four to five months ago when I was looking to buy a 458, the price was $50,000 cheaper than what it is today. Kill me now. I feel like enough YouTubers have Lamborghinis. I want a Ferrari. Don't hate me for buying a practice car <laughs> because I want to go racing as a supercar I was gonna buy first. Hate me when I buy a Ferrari for my supercar. <laughs> so, for now, I'm gonna wipe my tears with the Ferrari key. <laughs> Thinking about the day that I could afford one when the prices go down. <laughs> one of these days, I will show you guys my vision board. On my vision board is a seven second car. On my vision board is linking Horse Thief, the drift course. It's also getting my first Oscar and a star on Hollywood Boulevard with my name on it for all the success I've had in acting. And there's also a red Ferrari F40. And I looked up there and I saw that red Ferrari and I was like, that's the path I have to go down. If you guys don't have a vision board, I would highly recommend one. I know it sounds really cheesy, but print some photos that you like online, things you wanna manifest into your life. And I promise you, if you work towards it, they will come. I had a shop of my own on the vision board. I even had my own house on a vision board. It gave me the clarity of that's what I'm working towards. That's what I want because it is so easy to get lost in Instagram and what everyone else around you is doing that you almost lose sight of what it is you want in your life. Get a vision board, manifest things into your life, and when you have an opportunity, <laughs> seize it or else you're gonna find yourself wishing you did it a long time ago. <laughs> Calling it now. We're about to pull up at West Coast Exotics and Hunter randomly calls me going, I need the keys to your Corvette. We dropped off the keys to the Corvette on the way to, to Sheepy Race, and now I'm thinking about it. Why did he need the keys to my car? I didn't ask any questions, I just figured I'd drop him off. Betcha. I bet he's trying to pull a prank on me. TJ did say he might come up today. I almost didn't come back. <laughs> really? <laughs> Do you like it? Thought about it, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, why did he need the keys to my so bed? Uh, whenever I turned on your car yeah. um, and tried to put it in gear, it went like, ga, 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 ga. I'm just kidding. Okay, I was like, you got me for a second. <laughs> By the way, I was going to FaceTime you and <laughs> I totally was going to have somebody like banging like two red <laughs> together. 
I got busy and I uh, I would have seen you literally shit yourself. On I was time. ready for it. Literally when you FaceTime me, I looked over at Sean, I was like, this can't be good. <laughs> it was, no, and it, then you like literally it, I missed it. I called you back and you didn't answer. I know, I got busy with the client. I had it all set up too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been gold. Got you something. Is this Happy is this... birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I actually like that. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Really Anytime. appreciate it, and we'll be talking soon. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. All right. I love the sound of this car. I'm not gonna lie. It's expensive, but like supercars, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, people just pay 12 grand. I feel like I would just buy two turbos, buy that exhaust, not even run the cold side, just leave it open. Are you saying just have turbos as an exhaust and not actually forced just for induction? The sound. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's called a turbo muffler. Honestly. All right, the one gear. We're in business, boys. Let's put it in track mode, see if that works. You know what this car has that the 458 did not? Seat coolers. Yeah. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really excited to show you the Hartford Limited drop that is coming soon and all the other things that we have in the works. And yes, I, I'm serious when I say I have a Lamborghini update for you soon. And thank you guys so much for watching. Ikuro, we out here. Bye. <laughs>